Greetings, and welcome to week four of addictions. Speaking of addictions, I'm developing one for cold medicine. I'm sorry this uh, lecture is late. I do them pretty close to the start of class, just in case there's something I want to talk about that's going on in class. I don't save them up. I managed to catch a cold this last weekend, managed to lose my voice. Tough to lecture. So I'll see if I get through this. Geez, I just did the one for uh, intro to law enforcement, and those poor people had to sit through me coughing for 10 minutes. So I'm hoping I'm better this time. A lot of reading this time, kind of. We've got two chapters in the main text. The main thrust being, though, how our bodies work and how drugs work on the different systems of our bodies. So the two chapters are right on top of each other. A little more uh, medical model. A little more, this is what happens to us when we ingest and or abuse different drugs. And then the third chapter reading is chapter one in this book. And actually, it's kind of interesting. I uh, have already got a couple of papers from some students, real eager beavers, I guess. And they wrote on this, so I'm glad that uh, you're into this book already. Two books complement each other well, I think. Uh, the main text is our scientific, biological, medical model, you know, we get addicted because of the chemical responses in our body. The second book, the yellow one, The Fix, there we go again, uh, is more of a sociological, psychological view of possible addiction. You know, it's, it's one thing to say that when we ingest a certain drug and it affects our synapses and our nervous system in a certain way. <laughs> Hopefully our cough center. You know, and, and we become addicted, you know, and we'll go through withdrawal, physical withdrawal if we don't continue. Well, that's clearly not the case with your everyday iPhone. Mine's here somewhere. You know, I congratulated myself the other day because I had left the house without it. And I didn't go back for it. I just did without for a few hours. <coughs> Excuse me. There are some people uh, that their cell phone means nothing to them, especially if you're up here in some of these areas with poor coverage, which used to have it anyway. I know if my daughter ever had to do without her cell phone, uh, she would be anxious and irritable and want nothing else but get back into her hand. So is that a form of addiction, or is it just, just a form of what we like? She was, I like having my cell phone. I'm not addicted to it. I just like it. But when I don't have it, I can't function. So that's what the Yellow Book talks about. You know, addictions to those kind of things. I think it's going to be an interesting backdrop. I think they'll go well. So you've got three chapters. <clears throat> the discussion board's a, a little hard to word. But what I'm interested in is that to abuse drugs, to use drugs, there's different ways we have to get them into the body. We can drink it. We can inject it. We can smoke it. We can inhale it. <clears throat> a lot of different things. Some methods of getting it into you uh, are better than others for efficiency or effectiveness. Uh, if you inject something, it's usually quicker acting and more effective than if you uh, drink it or eat it. It has to go into your system that way. A lot of people, though, that are addicted and get high, get addicted to the process. You know, smoking cocaine—it's—it's a—it's a, it's a ritual. You got to—you have to set it up and do certain things. Injecting heroin becomes very ritualistic, and kind of the process of doing it is just as addictive as the actual drug. <coughs> Excuse me. So that's kind of what I want to discuss and talk about: is how much of how we use it is as important as why we use it. So three chapters, again, a writing paper on your choice. It's a discussion board. See you in class.